Marine sees in seven hours. And don't get me started about how wrong they got the crystal jellyfish in the Marine Biologist Quarterly. Sorry, <laughs> am I geeking out too much? No. <laughs> <sighs> I still can't believe your mom hid all of this from you. Hiding is surviving. That's the Gilman family motto. Mottos are stupid. That's my motto. I hate hiding. But you're crushing it at school. Everyone loves you. You really do have everything. Ugh, no, I don't. Ever since the Battle of the Trident, all us mermaids have been in hiding. I couldn't take it anymore. I felt trapped, so I ran away. But when I ended up at Oceanside High, I was alone. No one could see the real me. And then I found you, my super sea girl bestie. And now everything is right in the world. If it wasn't for this whole mermaid versus kraken war, you and I could be this free all the time. Oh, sure, yeah. But I mean, two teenage girls can't fix history. Wait, what's the first rule of being a mathlete? Mm, never talk about being a mathlete? No, we have to evaluate the problem. Chelsea, come on. There must be some way to end this war so you won't have to hide from the Krakens, and I won't have to become a prophecy princess warrior of an interspecies vendetta. Well, there is one way. Picture this. Chelsea Vanderzee and Ruby Gilman save the seas by finding the Trident of Oceanus. That giant fork my grandma's so obsessed with? Yes. The trident! Stay with me. Once we have the trident, we can show that there doesn't have to be a war anymore. It can be a symbol of peace. Then my grandmother wouldn't have to train me for battle. I can live in the ocean and on land as the real me. No more fighting. And the mermaids wouldn't have to live in fear anymore. No more hiding. No fighting. No hiding. No fighting. No hiding. No fighting. No hiding. No hiding. No hiding. No hiding. No hiding.